Hi, we're here in New York City today to prove that people will believe anything you say if you phrase it like a question and are holding a microphone. Uh, the Westminster Dog Show made headlines this week because they are refusing to allow a three-legged dog to participate in the show despite the fact that that dog is qualified in every other way. Do you think it's right that they're discriminating against handicapped dogs? People that are very anal about the hogs and very um, into the whole thing, yeah, I suppose it's uh, it's fine that they disqualify three-legged dog. No, not at all. The poor three-legged dog. Like, I don't know. But I guess kind of, because like, no, no, it's wrong. No, it's wrong. The Vatican has announced that once they've whittled down the number of candidates to a select few worthy candidates, they will hold a reality-style competition to replace the Pope. This is an effort to appeal to younger audiences, younger Catholics. Do you think that this PR move will work? No. No. No, not at all. No. What? This is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. Is that a real thing? Yes. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. How far has the church like gone down that we're resorting to a reality TV show? So I don't watch a lot of reality TV, but this sounds interesting. I think I, I might watch it, but I don't think it's gonna uh, make me have any more respect for the Catholic Church. What are, what are they doing? This is not this is not Survivor. Mm -hmm. This is not American Idol. They're choosing the Pope. This is supposed to be an important religious leader. Mm -hmm. Some are saying that Catholics who are in third world nations will have less of a chance to vote because of less access to television and phones to vote. Uh, do you think that that's a concern that they should be aware of? Um, I do think it's a concern. I also think it would be very interesting to see um, an Asian Pope or an African Pope or even a Latin American Pope. So this Valentine's Day, the federal government is giving $50 babysitter vouchers to up to 2 million federal employees who are married with children so that they can go out on a date. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. It's a nice gesture. <laughs> yeah. I think that's so sweet. I had no idea. The program is expected to cost between 250 and 500 million dollars yeah. when put into place. Do you think that that's too much for the government to be um, spending? I mean, I feel like they probably waste that on in 10 minutes on a Monday, so I'm fine with it. I don't know where that where that money is coming. Taxpayer money. Yeah, yeah, too much. I don't think that's too much. That's too much. Like, no, that's like out of our taxpayer money. Like, mm -hmm. no thank you. I'm not paying for you to go on a date. In a classified document released last week, it was revealed that an artificially intelligent King drone has been running our drone program in the U.S. military for the last two years, and not a human. Do you think that our military is too reliant on robot technology? So there's a lot of different faces to this argument. I don't know. I mean, if it works well, then not really. It's like I love Obama, but then I hear about that and stuff like that seems so, like, not thinking forward and it could just kill anyone and... Well, like, for now, it's whatever, as long as they're keeping me safe. It's a little bit unsettling, I mean, hearing it now for the first time. Um, I believe that it should be run by people. It was controlling all the other drones, but then again, it's like, if something goes wrong, like you said in these movies, it's, it's that thought. It's like, if something goes wrong, can we stop it? Some are calling for the Obama administration to install a human drone czar to be in charge of the whole program and have some oversight. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, someone would need to manage it, but one man, no. Here in New York City today to prove that people will believe anything you say if you look like a newsman and are holding a microphone. Good salad, yummy, yummy. What's the joke with the Smirnoff Ices? They're delicious. Sometimes me and my bros, my homies, Pound a few cold ones. You ever been iced? They're fun and delicious. Boom!